Happy Halloween! I am the Commish, coming to you live from Hardcore Challenge Live Studios. Deep behind the enemy line. Happy Halloween. Straight reaction. A little uh, Halloween style for you. <laughs> so uh, I hope you all went out. Hope y'all got some candy. Hope y'all got to chill with your families and uh, hope everybody made it home safely. Didn't run into them assholes trying to give you like uh, some Broncos tickets or any of that garbage. <laughs> so I straight scared the hell out of a few kids because I'm telling you what, the, the pumpkin man costume with the, with the crazy dreads and the cloak and all black at night on a dimly lit street will scare the hell out of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pretty sweet mask, man. It's a pretty sweet mask. I, 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 yeah. It's cameo appearance. Hold on. <laughs> See, cause it's got the it's got the sweet dreads, man. At, at night, I was standing lurking by some cars. A street freak freaked out a few people. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet mask. Yes. Of course you got the, you know, all this dapper. Of course I had the gloves and everything earlier, so. I had a little more of the full, full ensemble on, but, uh, <laughs> I wanted to be a clown. I was, we were straight up last year. Me and the, me and the commissus had, uh, um, black and white creepy ass clown costumes picked out. And we were going to walk the neighborhood both with bouquets of black balloons and then remember last year they had that whole clown craze where people were freaking out and clowns were freaking people out and shit. And we was like, if we go out and call, somebody's going to shoot our ass. Where we're, we're, we live is a stand your ground state. So <laughs> somebody was going to, somebody was going to stand, stand their ground on my ass and I, I was not going to have it. But next year we've decided we are going full creepy clown and we're going to pull the little guy in a cart and going to make it up in full Creepy clown cart. So we're gonna be the creepy clown family rolling through rolling through your neighborhood getting candy and freaking out your kids. Cause that's just how we roll. <laughs> Cause we ain't right. We ain't right up in this household. So share it up, share it up, share it up. We uh appreciate you all joining me on a Halloween. And uh Hey man, it's Halloween. We got the Got the solid background music going for Halloween. It's Halloween. I love Halloween, man. I wondered how many people we'd have tonight. Because, you know, everybody's out. And uh, probably right now, you know, out on West West Coast time, it, you know, it's 7 o'clock right now. Shit, people are out trick-or-treating right now, probably. 
you know, um, as well as uh, Mountain Time Zone, and they're trick or treating, and they're just wrapping up in Central. So, you know, it is what it is. But it is a Tuesday on Raider Reaction. So even though we do got Halloween all up on us, it's still time for the Raider Nation report. And we have to put to bed the business that we had to sit through this last week. Now, I'm not going to make you guys sit through it. We are not doing the full condensed game again because, my God, we are just not doing I can't. I just no way I could make it. I don't want to sit through it again. No way in hell I'm going to make you guys sit through it again. So we are not going to do the full game uh, recap of the Bills nightmare. What's up, Terry? Um, so, so we will not do that. Hopefully, hopefully next week we can do a full game recap because we're going to, we're going fishing this weekend. So hopefully we'll take care of that. But it was a, an absolute dumpster fire. I don't even know where to begin with the breakdown of the deficiencies in the Bills game. There were, it, it was just bad, man. I mean, well, where do you start? I mean, do we really even need to dissect it? Because it was just, it was bad across the board, so. It was just bad. Is it? Yes, it's the play calling. Because how many short passes and freaking screens do I need to see in one goddamn game? I mean, Jesus Christ, I understand it was adverse weather, but the other team's throwing the fucking ball, the other team's running the ball, the other team's doing all the things that we should be doing, so you can't hang the weather card on that when the team on the other side of the ball that's playing on the same damn field is getting it done. What's up, O'Kills? It, it's... So, you can't, I can't, you, I can't hang it on weather. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there were some surprise trades today. Um, surprise, surprise. Raiders made zero moves. There was no even rumors. No, what's up, T Courts? It was, uh, yeah, th there was no moves. It was quiet. Uh, th there was one big move that's going to help us out a little bit, and that was, uh, Ajay getting traded for a fourth round pick. Um, it was a good move, I guess, for the Eagles. I don't know what the hell Miami's thinking. The guy's a freaking rookie last year and 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 looks to be one of the top up-and-coming running backs. And I don't know if the coach down there is just in, you know, I gotta make I gotta make a freaking point. And so I well, let's make a point by getting rid of the only freaking talent we got in the locker room. That'll show them. <laughs> So I don't, but hey, get rid of him right before we're coming to town because after what I just seen Shady and McCoy do to our defensive line, I sure the hell don't want to, didn't want to see uh, Ajaye. So, thank, hey, thank you, thank you, Gase for uh, dealing his ass right before we came in. There is this. That's the thing, Michael. My, I, I, I thank you for its execution. If you execute the plays, you know, we, we see the play. Yeah, you got to realize, man, there's four or five routes on all of those plays. We don't know the progression that he's supposed to go through when he goes out on those plays. And just because it's ended up to the short guy or the outlet guy doesn't mean that was supposed to be his first read or his second read or his third. That's just where he's ended up. So how do we know? That the offensive coordinator is not crawling up DC's ass and saying, dude, what the hell do you keep dumping it off for? We don't know how many of those plays are happening. We're, I want to be a fly on the wall. I'd like to know because I, I've seen so many dump off passes to the goddamn running back this last week. It was ridiculous. Tyrod Taylor did get some help at the wide receiver position as uh, Kelvin Benjamin goes there. I, there was even rumors of Miami hanging out Landry. Like, geez, what is it, a freaking fire sale? Do you guys know something that we don't know? I mean, they they were just they're dump, trying to dump talent like crazy. I mean, you already don't have a quarterback, so let's get rid of our running back. Let's hang out the best wide receiver that we got. 
Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, thank you all for joining me. My band of pirates, new and old. As always, I appreciate any second you join me. Please, uh, please share it up. Because, you know, we're low budget here at Raider Reactions. So, we we, we appreciate uh, you helping uh, help getting the word out there and uh, painting the world silver and black with us. So, if you're in a Raider group, drop it in a few. Invite a friend or two. Let's make a Raider party on a Halloween. So, not, I don't, I mean, how, how deep do we want to dig into the Bills game? I'm ready to put it to rest. I don't, I don't want to. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want to waste a lot of time on it. I really don't. It's it's just bad juju, man. We got to put that bad juju away. We got to put it away. It's just bad juju. I don't like to dwell on the past. If there's anything constructive I feel we can take from it, then I like to go through it. But I know there's not a whole lot of constructive I take from the Bills game. It was a bad game. We played like garbage in adverse conditions, on the road. Just all facets of the game were bad. We turned the ball over on the ground. We turned the ball over in the air. We didn't get stops on the ground. We didn't get stops in the air. It was a total and complete shitstorm. Even usually... In our worst games, our one shining star was Marquette King, and he comes in with a freaking groin issue, so he wasn't even that stellar either. Um, so, it just... There was a couple okay returns from Patterson, but none that uh, none that sparked anything. Richard puts the ball on the ground. Under, I mean, the special teams just... All three facets of the game in Buffalo were bad. It's, it is what it is. So, two things are going to happen tonight. Because it's a Halloween, and I know we're going to have, you know, we'll have some limited numbers in the crowd because everybody's out with their family. It's a holiday. But I wanted to come on anyway because it is typically our Raider Nation report night. So, since, since it is a holiday, and, uh, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of the first half of the show dwelling on the bills, I am going to take some... I'm gonna take some guests tonight. I'm gonna to go uh, go little little old school and um, take it back a little after hour style, and I'm gonna invite uh, a couple uh, guests from the audience on to uh, to vent, to talk some silver and black, and uh, hey, to to get to get it off your chest. So if you have never joined a Facebook live show or not never joined um, one of the after hours broadcasts that I used to have. Let me give you a quick little rundown of how you can join if I do decide to send you an invitation. Uh, if you receive an invitation, um, it will uh, come from one of our uh, Raider Reaction Bouncers, Juan and Rasputin. They will send you out an invitation. To accept the invitation to join Raider Reaction, you simply hit, you must turn your phone horizontally and hit accept. Horizontally and hit accept. And you will slide in on the split screen, just as Prime or any of my other uh, co-hosts do. And we'll, uh, we will sit and uh, we'll, we'll spend a minute talking some silver and black. Because I know, I see the page. There's nothing but fire all over it. Now, in order to for me to know that you would like to join the show... There's only... One thing I ever ask of any guest that ever comes on the air with me, on a call with me, what is what is our number one freaking rule on Raider Reaction? If you are a guest, if you are in the comments, if you are fucking here, period, what is the number one rule of Raider Reaction? If you guys don't know it, then I... I what is the number one rule? The number one rule is always, that's right. Thank you. Jukebox hit the number one and the number two. T-Course knows. The number one rule is always bring the fire. So, I want to see some fire emojis across your comment line to let me know that you're ready to bring the fire. And I'll send you an invite and you can come on the show with me. That will show me that you're ready to bring the fire. So, you throw some fire in your comments, 
in your comment line there. When I see the fire burning across there, then I know you're re you're ready. Then I know you're ready, and I'll bring you in the show. Now, there was one gentleman out there. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see what's going on out here. Let me see some fire. Oh, I see some fire. And turn your phone sideways. It accepts. And uh, should pop around the screen. It helps if you got a good Wi-Fi connection or if you've got a good connection. Obviously, better connection, better connection helps. So. Our first invitation's out. We'll see if we'll see if we can uh, get anybody on for a little, little Halloween Halloween Raider reaction uh, discussion here. See if see if we can pull a couple people in. Uh, if I don't have, uh, I do have the phone line. I can throw the phone line out there too. But I would much rather have uh, some video guests. Some video guests. Well, I got an invite going out to Victor, but it's not seem to be. Taking. Where's Anthony? I thought Anthony wanted to come on. You see it up in the comments there, Anthony. So I don't know. He's got his Walmart internet kicking. Like I said, let's see that uh, let's see that fire in the comment line and I will send you an invite. You gotta be able to turn your phone sideways, horizontally, and hit accept. Has to be horizontal. Your phone has to actually go into rotate mode. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't see anybody jumping on there. Well, all righty. If anybody would like to join the show during the course of the show, just throw the fire icons up in your comment box. And I will send you an invite. Try that one more time. Throw that up there one more time. So. Let's move along. Let's move along. In Bradenton at IMG Academy, Raiders are in Florida. They are in camp. Trying to make it like a mini Raider camp is uh, basically what uh, Del Rio has said. Um, Lynch was not there at the walkthrough practice today. He is showing up tomorrow and will be there at, um, at the camp, at the facility tomorrow. So, He'll be joining. I, you know, people are trying to make. He's supposed to be in Florida tonight, so he'll be at practice tomorrow. I think people are trying to make a lot to do about nothing. The fact that he wasn't there at the walkthrough today, and everybody's trying to make more about it than it is. So, so I don't. It's not that big of a deal. He so he wasn't there at the freaking walkthrough. Jesus Christ! You think that's gonna throw his game off for Sunday? It's not. God, everybody's just looking for every little damn reason to. Uh, to get all up in arms about beast mode lately. He's the he's the new buzz topic. He's the, he's the new get pissed off about topic. <laughs> he's the new get pissed off about topic. All right, hold on. Well, let's see here. Let's see. All right. So, but they're here. Obi's practicing. But man, I mean. As much as I want to get excited, you can't expect too damn much from what's up, what's up. All right, we got our first guest on for the evening. What's up? What's up, Andrew? How we doing? I'm good, Kamish. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, man. Happy Halloween, my Raider brother. Yeah, you too. So, uh, do, you, do, you, do you go hit the streets? Do you get some candy with the kids? Yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> They're luckily... Yeah, we came home... We came home loaded down. So... 
What's on your mind, my man? What are, what are you thinking? The the state of the state of the nation is uh is in disarray right now, so it's on your mind. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the the race itself, you see that there's you know seven teams ahead of us before the last wild card spot, and like five of them have three wins like us, and the other two have four wins, and three of those teams we play you know, upcoming. And I mean, I think that we have a really good chance if we, like you said, uh, Sunday, if we can win our next two games, um, I think that we have a great chance of getting in at nine wins. I, I agree. I'm not, I, I agree, man. I, and I'm, I'm, I at fault sometimes of being too much of an optimist. <laughs> I, I don't count us out until we're absolutely freaking out every year because, right. you know, I like to I like to keep keep the faith. And, you know, I I so I can I try to build in my head how I can see it happen and I can see it happen. If they win this week, you get the mojo feeling good going into the bye week. You, you feel good going into the bye week on a big win on prime time on Sunday night football. You go in, you feel good. Mm -hmm. And you come out, and you it's going to be a Raider-positive crowd in Mexico City. It's, it's going to be predominantly Raider fans. That, and so that's almost a home atmosphere. And if you win there, then you get to come home for two games, and you're feeling good, and five and five, and crazy things have happened. Mm -hmm. Crazy things. <laughs> Certainly. Certainly. It, it, it's definitely looking like, I mean, there's a chance. It's not like, I mean, we're at the bottom of the race and we're one and a half games behind because everyone else on top of us is losing too. So. Yeah. I, yeah. I, it's, it's three and five sucks. I ain't gonna lie. Three and five sucks, but I can, I see hope still in three and five. I don't see hope in three and six. I <laughs> start to lose hope in three and six. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I was thinking back when I was looking at the at the race, I was thinking back to the last year that Hugh Jackson was coach. And we were in that last game, and all we had to do was win. And we would have, what, been 9-7 and seven going in? Yeah. And, um, and that was kind of a shitty race, too. I mean, everyone on top of us was – wasn't doing that great, and it was kind of similar to this year. So I don't know. It's it's been a screwy year. It's kind of been a screwy year league wide, really. I mm. mean, it's just it's just it's been a screwy year. It really has. I mean, who who thought the Eagles were going to be the the team? You've got the the Vikings sitting at freaking six and two with Case Keenan <laughs> running the show. I mean, right? It's the the Saints are are. I don't know, man. It's it's just a weird year. It's a weird year. Every what's up is down, and what's down is up. And mm -hmm. I'm not ready to give up yet, though. I, I, oh no! I mean, what Del Rio said: you either believe or you don't. So, yeah, exactly. And uh, man, I I have a hard time. I'm one of those fans that if you ask me every freaking week. Hey man, do you think the Raiders are gonna win? You're goddamn right, I do. Right. And I can convince myself every week, no matter who the opponent is, that some crazy damn thing could happen and we could possibly win. So I don't understand people that like before the Chiefs game. How many freaking comments did you see in groups and posting groups? I can't see any way we can beat the Chiefs. No way we can. I, like, how can you not see a way that on any given Sunday we could beat another team? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a, being a fan? I got. I think we can win every freaking week. Yeah. That's being a fan. Yeah, exactly. And I'm a, and I'm a fan. Uh, I'm in Michigan. So there's not many I don't I never see any I never see any Raider folk around here. Actually, we've are we've got a new show that's starting next week and he's he's a new host on our uh, on our page and he's from Michigan. Really? From not sure where. BC Raider. It's going to be on uh, Wednesday nights after Ghost to the Post. He's going to have a fantasy action live, fantasy football show, just all fantasy football. So we'll nice. have back to back shows on Wednesday night. But yeah, he's from Michigan. I'm not sure where, but I do believe he just moved there. I don't think he's from Michigan. Right. I think he just moved there. Um, but yeah, so sweet. Yeah. Sweet. It's getting cold up there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's horrible. I think it actually snowed a little this morning. 
Oh. <laughs> Damn. Screw that. <laughs> right? Yeah, the kids, I hate snow. The kids had a I lived in year, snow. that's for sure. Uh, I lived in snow for far too long. Mm -hmm. um, well, anything else you want to get off your mind while I got you on, Anthony? Uh, no. Andrew. That's that's what I wanted to share, you know. Like, like Del Rio said, you know, there's hope, and it's funny watching the post game uh, interviews with Carr and and uh, and Del Rio. I mean, Carr always says the same thing to me. I mean, yeah, we just got to work harder. Yeah, I know. He's he's got the canned responses. He's the he's the political response guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 He's never gonna say anything. And so, I, yeah, he's ne he's never he'll never give you a buzz topic or or a good quote or anything. He just comes out and says what he's supposed to say, <laughs> businessman, and goes about his business. But that's good, I guess, in a, if in a way. Yeah, that's good though. But, but I want to see. He's got to get pissed off at some point. At some point, you got you're the leader of the team, and I want to see some fire, and I want to see him get pissed off. It's, if this continues, he's got to get pissed off. And we should see it visibly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I thought we started to see it after week four, but yeah, I want to see. I want to see a little more. I got to see a little more, but you know. Oh well, it's uh, it's not over yet. Plenty of football left, so we'll see what uh, we'll see what shakes out uh, Sunday night. So. Yep. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on with me, Andrew. You're welcome, Hopefully man. You can jump back on with me again. For sure. Hopefully on better circumstances than freaking three and five. <laughs> three and five sucks. So, anybody else who wants to jump on with me, throw the fire in your comment box, and I will send you an invite. Otherwise, we will jump on down the line and move on down the line here. So, uh, like I said, OB is practicing. Don't expect much from Obi. It's um, yeah, he, he yeah, it, he's healthy and he may get a couple snaps, man. But they're they're gonna work him in and they're not gonna put him out there for a chance of him possibly being the weak link and giving up a big play. No, Connolly. Connolly is not in practice this week. He is not slated to practice at all, so you're not gonna see Connolly again this weekend. Gabe Jackson is uh, spending his time in Florida walking around in a boot. So that's always lovely. Got to love that. So uh, hopefully uh, that nagging injury that uh, has keep to keep plaguing him, that uh, left foot does not something that uh, we keep having to play with as well. Just injury, injury bug. Injury bug. Not really what um, what we needed. Like I would like to see Connolly start to get some work out there. Joseph is still a question mark as well. Lawani, who filled in for him last week and had an okay game. I mean, he got the got the bad penalty that cost. Um, had the return brought back. Uh, he was out of position on a couple of big pass plays. He did make a few plays. I, I did see him in on a few, so I can't say he didn't make any positive plays because that was not the case. He did make some positive plays, but he was not the uh, – did not have the uh, impact we would hope and we would see out of week one. So I – or game one for him with as a starter. So I really I'm, – I'm hoping Joseph is back. Joseph has been one of the shining spots, shining stars thus far in the secondary – um, and, you know, I, I would like to see him back and uh, starting at the safety position hopefully this weekend. But we'll have to see. Um, still still up in the air on, on the status of Carl Joseph. Still up in the air on that. So uh, ho hopefully we can get him back. Hopefully we can get him back. Now let's take a look at the upcoming Sunday night football. The upcoming Sunday Night Football game against the Dolphins in Miami. Hard Rock Stadium. Myself and the Commissioner Jr. will be there. We'll be there at the uh, pregame tailgate, um, interviewing and meeting and greeting with the uh, Raider Nation. Doing a little uh, Raider reaction live on location at the Sunday Night Football game. So, 
Remember, if you do get an invite, turn your phone sideways, hit accept, and it'll uh, bring you right on split screen, like Andrew was just on with me uh, shortly, a little bit ago. If you do want to come on, just throw the fire up in your comment box, and I will invite you on the show. It's a little Halloween. I know we'd have a little more intimate crowd tonight, since obviously most people are out spending the evening with the family. You ain't hanging out with me. But for those of you that are, I appreciate it. I know some of us, um, you know, in the little ahead or in, more ahead in the time zone, I'm already done. We've done our trick-or-treating. My kids are in bed, so we're, uh, we're, we're well past that. We, we got out and we did our thing. Had a good time. Gorgeous, gorgeous freaking Halloween night out, man. I love, I love the uh, late season uh, holidays here in the magical land because I can go out in a freaking t-shirt and uh, actually be a little warm. <laughs> so, uh, it, I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Bring in NorCal Raider Rick. I have no fire emoji. Well, what the hell, NorCal? <laughs> I have no fire emoji. Well, on my phone, all I got to do is type fire and it freaking pops up. Where, 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 where are you shopping at? What, what kind of phone you got? <laughs> you ain't got no fire emoji. Come on. I know, dude. No what's up? Hey, <laughs> dude. Hold on a second. My my thing's all fuzzy, it looks like, dude. Kids' fingers yeah, all over my phone. Like it's like NorCal's in witness protection over here. It's like, uh, you no. cannot fuzzy out my face so he's what not What the hell is going on with that? One second, one second, one second. Oh, no, I can hear you clear as the bell. I know, That's right? Crazy. That's horrible, though, man. It looks like you're in witness protection. I know. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to pop out, clean my screen, and clean that up. Uh, that thing, and I'll be right back in. All right. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, it's nice every once in a while to have an impromptu show where I just let it go. <laughs> and not follow the script as much. Because it is Halloween. So happy Halloween, Raider Nation. Happy freaking Halloween. Because I knew it was going to be... Uh, I knew, you know, we were not going to have our usual big old crowd for the Radio right, Nation Report. There we go. There What's we go. Up? There it's, there, it's a little better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, happy, happy Halloween, Halloween everybody. Man. What's up? How you guys yeah, doing? Did you get out and trick-or-treat with the kids? Yeah. They're all over at this little fair thing. And uh, I came back to the house. I had a long one last night, so I was kind of yeah. burnt. We went around, hit some houses, and then they they went and did their thing, and I'm chilling. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we yeah, did we yeah. did our neighborhood thing. So hey, what do you man. think, man? I haven't oh, talked to you okay. for a minute. What do you think about this freaking three and five garbage? All right. So, um, man, <laughs> I think we never should have sat. I'm sorry, but I think that, dude, I think it messed up our whole mojo. I think that we've been going downhill since then. Um, I, I, I agree with the reason they did it, but something went awry from that moment. And I, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I know this. That's not the same team we saw in the first two weeks. All right, hey, I, we beat the Chiefs, yes, by that much. But, man, our team is not the unit it was. I don't know what happened. Something happened. I don't know what happened either. I agree. It's it's sports, man. And sports is all about mojo and momentum. And I know everybody keep I, I've been called the raw raw fucker here the last few days because I've been I've been saying yeah. we still got a chance. Because I'm not ready to put it down yet. And I swear we still have a chance if we can go in and beat Miami, get a little get a little buzz, good feeling going, go into the bye week. Come out, go to a positive environment in Mexico City, yeah. and win. Yeah, I Coming hope so, back man. Home, five and five, and a two-game homestand. I need Todd Downing to be aggressive. I need him I to agree. be aggressive. Uh, he needs I to agree. come out, bringing it, boom, 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 boom. And honestly, right now is a time for me with, for me personally, 
with Marshawn Lynch. Dude, you got to bring it right now. You have to bring it. I need to see Beastquake. I need to see it. I need to see you break one. I need to see somebody on their back. I need to see something, man. Hey, I, I love Beast Mode. Don't get me wrong. I think what he's doing, the vibe he's bringing, all right, the vibe is cool. But I want to see more. I want to see more, man. It drives me nuts. <laughs> I, I I agree. I, the the Dinkin and Duncan shit this last game was ridiculous, man. The, You're not I a mean, cutter, bro. Oh, bro. Spread the – push the ball. Spread the field. You know, Jesus, and we're playing the Bills. We were making a, we're making these mediocre teams just look way too good. We're not we're not attacking. And we, when we attack, we, it's positive. If shit doesn't change, bro. We're gonna that's gonna happen to us with Miami, bro. I'm telling you, it's got to change right now. It's got to, dude. And, and I, I'm, I'm a real. Man. I love my Raiders. You guys all out there, I'm gonna tell you something right now. I love my Raiders. You know, so much, bro. Like, it's it's unbelievable. But I'm telling you right now, I am a realist. And what we're seeing right now, I don't want to hear anybody talking playoffs. We can't even talk playoffs no more. That's done, bro. I mean, for no. right now. For right now. I want to I'm see a good a game, a good season. win. This is a two-game two season right in now. A row. Two wins in two, a row. This is a two-game season to me right now. We have to beat Miami. Miami is like a fucking playoff game. We have to win that game. If yes. we don't win that game, you can kiss this season goodbye. Because if we can't beat the goddamn Dolphins, oh. Matt Moore, no fucking running game. They just traded the only talent they had away. If if we can't beat them, then there, there's no way. So we I have to beat them, them and then beat the Patriots. And then all of a sudden, there's a heartbeat again. And then we can start talking about Let's get something rolling. But two games, man. We got to win those two games before I We can. have to. Because, see, see, here's the thing, man. I was hoping, dude. This is what I was hoping. But, you know, it, nothing ever happens the way you want it to happen. But, like, seriously, I was thinking, <laughs> okay, we beat KC. We come in. We beat Bills. And we come in. We smash on, on Miami. And then we're hot again for freaking Patriots, dude. And But, hey. We got to come out, and we got to beat, definitively beat Miami and, and get some of that mojo and that confidence back going into Mexico City. We're going to be so deep in Mexico City, too, so it's going to be that home game, you know? Yeah, it's – I think I agree, Bob. I remember you saying it, too. You were on the uh, – Todd Downing had no experience. It was a big gamble, man, when you get rid of a proven – Offensive coordinator for the shiny toy that you think might be better, but it's it's a gamble, man. It's a gamble. Things were clicking last year. We shouldn't have dicked with it. We shouldn't have dicked with it. Yeah, you know what's crazy, too, is honestly, at this point, Todd Downing has no choice but to bring it. <laughs> you got to bring it. We got to show how saying. explosive this offense is, and, and you have no choice. It doesn't matter if you fail because you're already you're already in not making the cut, bro. So bring it, bring that offense, bring it against uh, bring it against Miami because you know we have to bring it against the Pats. Period. I agree. Nobody's gonna fault you if if you're freaking over aggressive at, at this point of the season. You need you to come out to and freaking lay it on the line, man. Lay it on the line. Light it up. Pound the goddamn ball. Get aggressive with the run. <laughs> yeah. Go. I agree. Hey, Put on and, the gas. And, <laughs> and, hey, something you said before, bro. I was th- I was listening to you a minute ago. Um, Hey, I agree. Carr needs to get pissed off, bro. We need him mad. We need him fired yes. up. Because, like, what I'm seeing right now is, is a defeated dude. He's already defeated. That's not what we need. He's not going to do the big – That's the, Oh, my God, man. I, in the second half of this last game, Carr's just on the sideline. He's just sitting there. You know, he, he's just got this look on his face like he's upset. God <laughs> damn it. Get fucking pissed, man. Yo, get, get mad. Get your exactly. ass. Get oh pissed. 
Oh I've my been God. walking up and down there smacking people on the fucking heads and being like, come on. You come on. We're getting our asses handed to us. Block for me, you fuckers. Come on. <laughs> Dude. Hey, something happened, man. I'm telling you right now. He pissed some motherfuckers off when he did not kneel with the team, bro. He did, well, bro. I don't know. I don't man, know. he did. Something, you can see it. It's been a different vibe right. ever since. Something I'm not saying I'm not saying right now I'm not saying that they freaking let him get blasted on I'm not saying they pulled a Washington on RG3 on him I'm not saying that at all what I'm saying is is that took that was such a touchy subject and honestly as a white dude you gotta walk if you're walking that line you gotta be on it dude and he fucked up and it burnt him and it did. And it sucks. I love him to death. Look it. I rock it. I'm in support still right now. I mean, it's a bad look. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I agree. It was a bad look. Yeah, it was. No matter what you think, how you feel, one side of that. Man, I love gotta, everybody, y'all. I'm not a racist. I love everybody. As a team, if you was going to be something good or something bad that you did, I don't care how you feel on either side of it. If it was decided as a team, you should have done it as a team. Yeah. So hey, everybody who's the only person that you? didn't kneel? Exactly. If if the world was going to be mad at you, they should have been mad at every damn person on the team the same because y'all did the same shit. But that's not what happened. And I don't know. I don't hey, know. But... So that happened right after the dude from Chicago. That was a veteran. That his whole team went into the locker room and he walked out on the field and saluted. Remember that? That happened right after that. So maybe he thought it was going to be chill because of that and it just backfired. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's, it's all bad, though. Whatever it is, it needs to get worked out. Hey, it is, honestly, it's, it's bad I'm not, you, man. We got I'm bad not making it a color thing at all. I saw a, a comment. I'm not making it that at all. Michael, there were, there were, but it's, he's, the, he's the figurehead of the team, though. He's yeah. the, the camera's not on the other guys. The camera's on his ass. It's, yeah. it's on him because he's the, he's the – and he knows the camera's going to be on him. So you can't Honestly, be ignorant that was the fact. first bad choice I saw besides his uh, a few uh, interceptions. But that's the first bad choice I saw him make, honestly. Yeah, lose every single game. I'm gonna be angry about it. But man, it's all bad. Yeah, it's been a very screwy season. Been uh, yeah. Well, NorCal, any last any last items? Because I've got I got a hell of a uh, I got a hell of a closer for the show, so uh, you're gonna want to stick around for this. All right. <laughs> no, I'm gonna watch it for sure. All hey, right. you guys, I'll see you guys with the commission tomorrow night. Hell um, yeah. And uh, or, or no, yeah, Thursday tomorrow. Night. Nope, Thursday night. That's right. Thursday see, night. I got That's my right. days. We're back. We're back with the solid hour Thursday night show. You get the Raider Nation ricochet with me and NorCal. We'll rip yeah. through everything and get you ready for the fish. We're going fishing on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Get hey, ready. much love, much respect. Everybody be safe. Hey, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. All right. NorCal Rick. All righty. For those of you who have followed the show for a while, I used to have every single one of my shows because at the beginning it was just me. I didn't have, I didn't have NorCal. I didn't have prime. I didn't have uh, T well JP, you know, I, I made all the other guys that come on with me and to then make the rate of reaction show what it is. I didn't have any of those guys. So it was just me and every one of my shows I wrapped up with my WTF. Now, I was forced to drop the WTF and tone it down, and it became the WTH. And, you know, because I didn't really like it because it wasn't the WTF anymore, I usually only would do it once or twice a week. 
Usually when I was by myself on my Raider Nation report, it usually be the only time I would do one. So I'd only get about one a week in. Well, I want to bring those back because we're rated MA now, and we have uh, we've changed things up, and we, we don't filter anything anymore. So as of tonight, the WTH is dead. We buried that some bitch, and we're bringing back the WTF. So tonight, on a very special Halloween, Red Reaction, I would like to close with my WTF this evening. Now, it's a multi-fold WTF, which is why I'm starting it a little early. So let me preface with a story that came out today about Mr. Peyton Manning and his uh, sexual assault deposition video that surfaced of his as his attacker spoke out. Now, allegedly, Mr. Manning um, stuck his uh, anus and testicles upon the face of of said accusing athletic director. Apparently, when uh, she was leaning leaning down, uh, Peyton decided to drop trowel and uh, give her a kiss with a a certain part of his anatomy. Um, So as as she leaned up and caught a a face full of ass and balls from Peyton Manning, she she pushed him away, and uh, this is where the story spins off. Now, this was back when he was at the University of Tennessee, but obviously she's sick of seeing his ass on his Papa John's commercials and everything else and wants the world to know what kind of a disgusting fucking pig he is. And that his, uh, he's not such a wholesome guy as everyone, he wants everyone to believe. Now, whether this happened, whether it didn't, I have no idea. It is not my place to judge, but it is my place to laugh because it is goddamn hilarious. The story in itself and the person, I I, I can't stand Peyton Manning. I think he's a smug prick, and I've always thought that. And it disgusts me how, how everybody, he's held on some pedestal like he's the greatest thing ever. Well... Let me get to the juice of my WTF. Now, Peyton Manning, you know what? I'm even going to turn off the Halloween sound effects for this because this is about to get real. It's about to get real up in this son of a bitch. So grab your popcorn. Peyton Manning, you may be the greatest quarterback of a generation, I guess, with your two rings. Hardly puts you in that fucking category. But statistically, you're supposed to be this cerebral-ass quarterback. Well, yada, yada, you're all this and you're all that. Well, that's great. I'm sure you spent all those years quaffing your craft to become an NFL quarterback. Well, you know what, man? I've been in fantasy football Almost 20 fucking years. I've ran a lot of leagues. I've spent hours upon countless hours in fantasy football. Running leagues. All different kinds of leagues. All the way down to now where I run the pinnacle of fantasy football competition that is the Hardcore Challenge. Now, upon and during and along that 20-year journey in fantasy football and all the work that I put in, I gained a moniker. You know what that moniker is? You see that? The commish. Now, your current advertising fucking campaign where you are allegedly calling yourself the fantasy football guru and are
are calling yourself hashtag the commish. Listen, motherfucker. This ain't the NFL. This is fantasy football. You're stepping into my world. And now you're trying to take my fucking name. I don't give a fuck about your Super Bowl rings. Because unless you want them in fantasy football, they mean dick to me in this world. So now, you're stepping on my and you're taking my name. Because listen, you fucker. Your shit just started in September. I've got my shit copyrighted all over the fucking internet since spring. And far before that, on my other webcasts. So, you can take... Your Peyton Manning is the commish. And shove that right up your fucking ass. You horse faced motherfucker. I'm the fucking commish. Not you. Fantasy football is my life. Not just some fucking stupid gimmick that they put on there to try and get you to buy overpriced shitty ass satellite dishes. So go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck DirecTV. I'll stream that shit. Fuck your Sunday ticket and fuck your shitty ass pizza, you horse face fuck. You're not the commish. I'm the commish. Fuck you. Hashtag the commish. Hashtag this, Peyton Manning. Suck. Mm. Peyton Manning. What the fuck? Now that is how you end the show. <laughs> that ain't no WTH. That's a WTF. And they're back. Have a happy Halloween. Stay safe. I'm out. Peace. Love. Raider Nation.